What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another iOS 12 jailbreak update video. So I do want to mention here really quickly that iOS 12.1.1 beta 3 surprisingly is still being signed, which is absolutely crazy. This has given so many people so much time to get on a jailbreakable firmware. It's pretty damn crazy. Uh, but I will leave the link for this down in the description in case you guys are watching this in the future to see if that beta is still being signed. Like I said, it's 12.1.1 beta 3. And if you guys have any issues with the current jailbreak on whatever firmware of iOS 12 you're on and you get into a boot loop or something like that, you can still restore to this firmware and re-jailbreak. If you guys need to see how to, uh, to downgrade or to restore, 12.1.1 beta 3. I do have a video tutorial. I'll leave the video link for that down in the description in case you guys need to do that. Uh, but moving along here, going into Twitter, Pona Own is currently working on 4K support for Uncover, so the older devices. Um, I suspect once he gets support for the older devices, then he will start plugging away at the A12 devices, which I can't wait for because I'm dying to jailbreak my 10s max but a new version of uh uncover version 3.0.0 beta 34 is out he did have a typo here correction th beta 34 uh, this does fix a lot of issues that people were having with um reloading daemons so as you can see if we swipe all the way down here to beta 34 was released Fix the root cause of the reload system daemons failure on iOS 12. Also add an APT list cache file to ease load on repositories. As you guys probably noticed over the weekend, we actually broke the big boss repo. Uh, we took down the servers from too much traffic, which is absolutely crazy. And if you guys didn't know, the big boss repo is actually the default repository for Cydia. So you never ever want to delete the big boss repo out of Cydia. It will cause a lot of issues. So I recommend to never do that. Uh, but like I said, this newer version of Uncover Beta 34 uh, does fix those issues. And uh, we're gonna quickly jump over to my 7 Plus here. And now I'm gonna show you guys how you can update the Uncover jailbreak. So if you go ahead and launch Uncover, you go to settings and you swipe all the way to the bottom like I am here, you can see what version it is. Uh, as you can see, it's 3.0.0 beta 29. So I'm a little bit behind. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna update the jailbreak. Um, so we're gonna do that with the Ignition app here. We do have to trust it, I just installed it. If you guys need to see how to get Ignition, I'll leave the video link for that down in the description as well. But let's just go into general, profiles and device management. And maybe this one, correct. We'll go ahead and trust the Ignition app. And now we can launch it. So let's go ahead and let's go into the sections here. Let's go to jailbreaks and swipe to the bottom until you see uncover new beta. And we got an ad, so let's just wait a second for this to go away. This looks like a an annoying video ad. Haven't seen one of those for a while. Uh, but anyways, go ahead and select on the new beta. And actually, if you swipe all the way down here, just to verify what version it is, as you can see, this is 3.0.0 beta 34. So this is the newest version. I tend to jump between Ignition and Tweakbox for the uncovered jailbreaks on whoever updates it uh, first, whoever has the newest. So let's go ahead and click on Get, Install. We go ahead and exit out of. The Ignition application, as you guys can see, uh, Uncover is not working. Alrighty, so I did have to delete the original uh, Beta 29 in order for the Beta 34 to install there. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and move it back to my first page here just for the nice look that I enjoy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and reboot my device. I'm just going to go ahead and slide to power it off. We'll give it a second here to make sure it's fully powered down and then we'll just go ahead and power it back up and I'll be back once my device is back on. All right, we are booted back up. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock my device and we, we are in the unjailbroken mode as you guys can see here, the stupid beta pop-up. But let's go ahead and let's launch on cover here. 
I'm going to check out the settings here real quickly just to verify how everything looks. Okay, it all looks good to me. Let's just go ahead and click on jailbreak. This is basically how you guys are going to want to update your uncovered jailbreak. Uh, surprisingly, this is still a beta jailbreak, which I think is crazy because it's, it seems so stable to me. Um, but it is a beta jailbreak. This isn't even the full-fledged official version yet, so uh, I am very excited to see how good and how stable this jailbreak actually gets, and it seems to be working first try, which is amazing. Yep, there we go. First try, guys. All right, my device is going through a respring, and we should be back up any second here. All right, I'm beginning to think it's stuck in a respring loop because it still hasn't done anything, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, basically, to get out of this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a hard reboot on my device. I'm just going to hold the power and the volume down button. Uh, a hard reboot is going to be performed different, differently on different devices. Do keep that in mind, guys. So let's just go ahead and do a hard reboot on the 7 Plus here. Boot it back up, and let's try and jailbreak it again. Uh, that's unfortunate that we got stuck in a respring loop. At least it's just a respring loop. That's nothing too serious. That's just something... Uh, with the jailbreak utility itself that it just didn't want to load it back up correctly or something. So we're booted back up. Let's go ahead on and unlock our device. I do like showing you guys kind of the stuff I go through just in case you guys have similar issues so you kind of know what to do when it happens. Let's go ahead and launch the uh, uncovered jailbreak. Let's try and jailbreak again here. And fingers crossed that we don't get stuck in a respring loop this time. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes again. We're still respringing. This is unfortunate. Again, I'm going to perform a hard reboot, and then I'll be back. Once it's done, we're going to try something new this time. Okay, we're booted back up again. Very unfortunate that we keep getting stuck in these respring loops. But I'm going to go ahead and launch the Uncovered Jailbreak, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable the Reload System Daemon. Oh, it is enabled. Let's try and turn that off once and see what that does by turning that off. I'm not sure if that's causing any issues. I'm just going to check the rest of these settings. Okay, the rest looks good. Let's try and re-jailbreak by untoggling the reload of the system daemons. I'm not sure if that's what's giving me a hang-up right now. I do have <clears throat> quite a few tweaks installed on this device. Probably like 28 to 30-ish at this point. If you guys seen the top 25 best tweaks for iOS 12, you would know what I have installed. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to check it out. It'll be uh, at the end of this video. Okay, let's see if we can get through this respring this time. So that seemed to work. So I'm not sure if that's the issue, but I am back in the jailbroken state, as you guys can see. So it took a couple of trials. So let's go back into Uncover. I'll show you what I did. Again, I did disable the reload system daemons. I thought by default that that might have been turned off, but it was turned on. So I turned it off, and that seemed to do the trick. Uh, so in my opinion, there's still more work that needs to go into the Uncover jailbreak um, just to make it more stable so it doesn't get stuck in respring loops like it did. Uh, but that's basically how you're going to update your, your jailbreak is just delete the old one, install the new one, disable the jailbreak, and re-jailbreak. That's all you got to do, guys. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of trial update video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.